Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Judy Simpson. It is the first Thursday of the month, which means we're in the kitchen with Across the Fence. We hope you had a nice 4th of July holiday and with the summer season in full swing, our chefs have a table full of picnic and potluck recipes for you. They're Carolyn Peake from Williamstown and Deb Plumley and Lynn Jarvis, both from South Hero. Before we begin today's recipes, we have a cookbook that one of you lucky viewers will win in our free drawing. This 328 page book is entitled The How Can it be gluten-free cookbook. It contains revolutionary techniques and groundbreaking recipes all prepared by America's Test Kitchen where they have reinvented the rules of baking to produce delicious gluten-free main dishes, breads, and desserts. I'll let you know how to enter the free drawing at the end of the program. Now Deb, I think I counted 16 different recipes today so we got to get going. Yes we do. All right, right on. Thanks. Right on. Well, before we start, let's just talk a little bit about food safety. Picnic and barbecue season offers lots of opportunities for outdoor friends, fun time with family and friends. But these warm weather events can also present opportunities for foodborne bacteria to thrive. So a general rule of thumb, keep your perishables such as raw meat separate from your prepared salads and keep all cool with ice packs. Keep your utensils that are used from raw meat separate from those of salad and keep everything separate and your hands well washed. Then everyone's gonna have a wonderful time and stay safe. So my Picnic for Two features this handy Cobb salad in a jar. And I'm just gonna tilt it on its side here. You start with salad dressing and then a layer of diced cucumber, bacon, avocado, chicken, hard boiled egg, tomato, and then you top it with lettuce. This is super easy. You can make it up to 24 hours ahead of time. Just keep it refrigerated before you're ready to enjoy. And then when you're ready to serve, you just give it a shake and you eat it right out of the jar. No worry about a bowl or serving utensils. Now, I know everybody thinks about making bread in the winter, but this 90-minute bread from Eloise Headboard is proof you can have a great rustic loaf of homemade bread in under two hours. Using maple syrup as your sugar, and then just water, yeast, salt, and bread flour, you can have this ready to go in under two hours. It's just so yummy, perfect for a picnic. And I like to serve it with this herbed butter. Using fresh herbs from the garden, it has parsley, dill, chives, thyme, and a few other things that are added to give it a nice flavor. So there's my picnic for two. Now, if your hike Ing gives you a little bit of hunger on the trail, you can try these super easy granola bars. Using your favorite granola, mix it with softened peanut butter and honey, smoosh it in your pan, refrigerate it, and cut it into squares to serve. This will keep up to two weeks in the refrigerator, and for lunches, I'll just wrap it in a square of wax paper, and it's super handy to go. And if you use a gluten-free granola, then you've got a gluten-free trail mix. So enjoy that. Now, it would not be picnic and barbecue time without ribs. These tender and tangy ribs are cooked in the crock pot. They are cooked in a mixture of cider vinegar and ketchup and some other herbs and spices, some Worcestershire sauce, a little bit of liquid smoke, brown sugar, you name it. Pack them into your crock pot, four to six hours cooking on low, and you've got these great ribs to share, and you haven't had to slave over the hot grill. Now my last dish is a wonderful cake from Lynn Bourgeois of Addison, Vermont. It's her lemon pound cake. So your usual ingredients of flour, butter, sugar, salt, whatever, are then mixed together, and you add orange yogurt and some grated orange peel. And it's just a fabulous summertime dessert. The cake is tender, very moist. It's a perfect thing to bring on a picnic. I'm sure everybody will enjoy it. And I wanna thank Lynn for sharing the recipe with us today. Now next up is Carolyn. And I know with all of your traveling, you are a pro at packing 
the picnics and barbecues. <laughs> I can put a lot into a little space. <laughs> I'm sure. So I'm going to step aside and let you go for it. Okay. Well, I have a, a good supply of things here today. And I'm going to start off right up here with the broccoli salad supreme. Now this recipe actually makes enough for 20 servings. So plan how much you want. I cut mine in half and this isn't even the whole half. So if you make this, it has broccoli and grapes and celery, green onions, and then you make a, a use some uh, mayonnaise for it. Then at the end you put in some uh, toasted almonds and some bacon and you have a really nice cool salad to have with your picnic. And I'm going to set this down here because I don't want it getting in the way of everything. My next recipe is a lemon blueberry pound cake. This is just kind of your standard pound cake, but it's made with lemon juice, lemon zest, and lots and lots of blueberries. So this is a really nice cake that you can have for your picnic. You know, just set it out on the table and let people cut the size piece that they want. It's very easy to make and very delicious. Now, from Edie Ackerman of Fairly, Vermont, we have sour cream rhubarb squares. This is good, let me clue you. If you like rhubarb, you'll like these. And Lynn sent me this recipe from her because I had told him that we just sent a bunch of rhubarb to my husband's brother down in North Carolina. So he thought, well, this would be an appropriate one. And again, it's just your kind of a standard snack cake, but it has a lot of rhubarb in it. So it just, it's just extra good. It has the um, sugar and cinnamon on top. Makes for a nice cake that you can have. Over here, I have strawberry angel trifle. And this is really kind of fun because you take an angel cake, you cut it up into chunks, and then you have strawberries and strawberry jello that you mix all together and you layer it in and put the whipped cream on top. You've got a really super dessert. And again, this makes a lot. So you can have a, you know, if you're taking it to a big picnic or something, you're all set with that. It makes a great dessert that's cool because it's kept in the refrigerator. So that's one that you can try. Lastly, I have something to drink, and this is called Sensational Slush. And it has the, it has your standards like sugar and, and it has jello and pineapple juice, fresh strawberries, frozen lemonade concentrate, and frozen limeade concentrate. You mix everything up, and then you freeze the, um, the strawberry part. You take it out and let it kind of thaw, and I've got mine over here on the side. I just put some in my cup, because I thought this looked like a picnic cup. And then you pour a lemon-lime soda over it and stir it up. You've, you've got a nice froth on top, too. <laughs> but that gives you an idea of a really nice sensational slush that you can have to drink. So, Lynn, there's my addition to the table. What what did you bring to? I brought some good stuff too, but my gosh, these look great. Don't they though? Yeah, and we have 16 recipes we're showing today. Then I guess you better <laughs> get busy. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yes, we have a lot of recipes to show you, and I'm going to show you some that would be great for any outdoor gathering or for a potluck. And I'm going to begin with my iced raspberry tea and this can be made with fresh or frozen raspberries that are mixed with sugar, water, tea, lemon juice that are boiled together 
And then once the flavors are mixed and matched, you strain out the seeds and the tea bags and chill it and you're ready to go. And I'm going to put some in this glass. This does make 16 servings, so there should be plenty for everyone. But don't think you're going to have seconds because uh, a lot of people are going to come back and it's going to be gone before you know it. So uh, just plan on 16. If you have a larger crowd, make a double batch. Now, moving on, here's a recipe that will have everyone coming back for more. And it's my uh, deviled egg macaroni salad. Now, it takes two summer favorites and puts them together and delivers a recipe that has twice the flavor. And as I said, the two flavors are deviled eggs and macaroni and cheese. Now, how, not macaroni and cheese, but uh, macaroni salad. So how can you beat that? So uh, garnish it with some uh, deviled eggs and uh, some tomato slices. And just before serving, we're going to put on a little bit of paprika. You want to be careful not to get too much, but it kind of gives it that little extra color. So here you have a wonderful recipe that combines the two flavors of deviled eggs and macaroni salad. I hope you'll give this a try good for any picnic or potluck, or if it should rain, bring it right in the house. And now here's an old standby recipe that goes with any kind of get together, especially nice, uh, for people that are used to the traditional recipes, it's a scallop potatoes with ham, and here you see it. And this recipe will never curdle because you use a, a powdered non-dairy creamer for the base, along with the uh, traditional potatoes, ham, onion, and shredded cheddar. Now we're going to serve it up with a fresh green salad here. And while I'm putting this on the plate, I want to tell you that this can be made for just 85 cents per serving. So here you have a great tasting recipe that's very economical. So I know you wanna give this a try. Now I'm going to begin with a recipe that I created myself. It's right here and it's called beans and franks in a bun. Now take a look at this. It's made by mixing together beans and hot dogs and then you put in the flavors of ketchup mustard chopped onion and it's all baked together for about 30 minutes and when the mixture is warm you put it in your hot dog rolls like this and then just before serving you want to put on a little shredded cheddar and let me do that and i can tell you everybody here at the studio has been waiting for the show to be over so they could sample this so i'm going to go to dessert now and as we all know, rhubarb, as Carolyn said, is ready for the picking. So I went over to my neighbors, Mark and Brenda, picked their recipe. They weren't home, but they don't care if <laughs> I pick a little of their rhubarb. So it's this rhubarb berry upside down cake. Now, doesn't that look good? Along with rhubarb in the topping, there's blueberries, dried cherries, and brown sugar. And the cake is actually flavored with strawberry jam and orange juice, and I can tell you, this is as good as it looks. And finally, my last recipe, now where is it? Oh, right here. It looks like all the other cakes we've showed you today. And this is um, from Mary Plouffe down in Bridport, Vermont. It's her Milky Wonder Cake, and can you guess what the secret ingredient might be? Well, it's Milky Way bars, and the other cake ingredients are pretty much the same as other cakes of this style. And this is a great recipe to use with your children, grandchildren, and nephews or nieces. They love to cut up the candy bars and put them in the pan to melt and stir it in. But the trouble is, Judy, they can't <laughs> wait for it to cook. You've got to entertain them for about an hour and a half so they can actually sample it. So how are you enjoying retirement? Loving it. Good for yeah, you. I knew you would. It's been going really well. Thank, Thank you. Good. This is beautiful recipes. I can't wait to try them. All right. Well, there are always a couple of different ways to get the recipes. You can go online to the Across the Fence website. Go to uvm.edu slash extension and click on the link to Across the Fence. You can find the recipes on the left-hand side of the web page. To get the recipes by mail, send $2 and a stamped self-addressed business size envelope to Picnic Recipes, Box 188, South Hero, Vermont, 05486. Please remember to include 
two dollars in a stamped self-addressed envelope. Your mailing envelope will be used in the free drawing for the winner of the gluten-free cookbook. And even if you're not ordering today, you can use the address on your screen to be able to be part of the free drawing. Just send along your name and address and good luck to all of you. Well, of course, thanks to our chefs, Deb, Carolyn, and Lynn for preparing this potluck recipes for us and picnic recipes. They'll be back August 3rd with locally grown recipes using Vermont produce. So mark your calendars for Thursday, August 3rd. And to close, we have some iced raspberry tea toast to you loyal viewers of Across the Fence. Cheers. 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 Cheers.